Welcome to Mastering Node.js, video course by Pact Publishing. Hi, my name is Joris Hermans. I'm a senior software developer who loves to write open source software. I'm one of the first users of the isomorphic JavaScript principles, sharing your code between the client and the server. I created also the course about ECMAScript 6, moving to the new JavaScript in the past to teach viewers all about the new specifications of JavaScript. For the moment, I'm very excited about the distributed web. Node.js is a very powerful technology to write full-stack software in one language. With this course, you will understand the Node.js platform even better. We will touch a lot of the Node.js APIs and look even under the hood to show you the full potentials of Node.js throughout the course. This video is just a glimpse to know what the course will bring to you. This course will make you a total craftsman in Node.js. A course about technology can't be better started than explain to you how Node.js is working under the hood. We will create an application that will show you how Node.js is working and what the basic principles of Node are. We will do that with a sample application v8 underscore shell. In this v8 shell example, we will create a new method alert. In this method alert, we will return alert arrow high. We will also learn a lot about the event loop and that bring you into the loop of how this even works. After that, you will learn how to create tools like Yieldman, command line interface tools, tools that will help you in automating tasks from within your console and to interact with your end user. In this section we will work on following program. Node.js is an event-driven programming environment, so it's important to dive into the events API of Node.js. You will see everything about events in section 3. Another important part to master is streams. When you can transform data from one format to another, this is very important today with big data. In this course we will show you how this functionality works with some simple examples. This will bring you at the end of this section to the basic functionality of an HTTP server in Node. Now how to write this. We can start here, node server, then we have our server that's been running. And this server serves a static image, node.js. In section 5 you will learn how to use Express.js, the most popular web framework in node.js. We will show you how to work with middleware in Express. Also authentication and security is an important topic when building a web application. But it's so much more fun to show you how to implement a social login for the biggest platform in the world, Facebook. At the end of section 5, we'll show you Coanto.js. Coanto.js is another web framework from the same creators of Express.js. In section 6, you learn how to work with the file system API of Node. With some simple examples, you will become known of the key principles of that ABI. We can for example watch the changes of a file. When we type in this file beep, we can generate a beep in our console. That's great. That's something awesome that we will see in section 6. Another very important topic to become a master of Node is this section, section 7. In this section you will learn to control the Node.js process. You will learn how to control multiple processes and send messages from one process to another. So we will spawn multiple Node processes with Node and then the JavaScript file. And then uh, we can send messages through the other process. Another very cool topic to master is real-time 
messaging systems or real-time applications. We will do that with Express and Socket.io. And we will learn also how to cooperate with server sent events and how to send messages from one server to another. We'll have no secret for you after this course. We will create in this uh, section a document editing tool. This is our document editing tool that we will build. So we can add a lot of items. And in section nine, we will see how to scale our application. And we will bring our document editing application into the cloud with Docker. So we will spawn our real-time application together with Redis into a Docker container. We will prepare it to send it to the cloud. In the last section, we will have one important step for you to make you sleep very well. When you write software code, it's important that you can look after the quality of the code. So using the correct tools for this job is also very important. So we will give you some kind of example how to spy on our bond object. After this course, you will be able to master Node.js and all of its APIs. It would be a good thing that you have worked with Node.js before. But that's not necessary. Some background in programming languages like Java or C Sharp are a plus. This course will help you in creating great Node.js applications and bring your skills to the next awesome level. So let's begin this journey together.